The annual Holocaust workshop at Viterbo will again carry out its mission on Thursday. A keynote speaker is Holocaust survivor who's been to La Crosse before. News 19's Heather Armstrong meeting up with Peter Feigl today to see if the message this time around has changed any. Heather? Well, Dustin, the answer to that question is yes and no. The goal has always been to make sure no one forgets the atrocities of the Holocaust. But now this message is targeted to the younger generation, middle and high school kids, who Peter says sadly have never heard of the Holocaust. 94-year-old Peter Feigl survived the Holocaust. His parents did not. I asked him how he was able to go on with his life, and not only that, to go on to be incredibly successful, despite having survived something so horrific, and especially knowing what happened to his parents. I was what I consider blessed with the ability, forgetting what happened yesterday, and not speculating unproductively about what might happen tomorrow. I had a company which was on the verge of uh, going, fi filing for bankruptcy. And uh, I came home Friday evening, my wife wanted to talk about what are we going to do. I turned off a switch up here. And I won't think about it until Monday morning, until I physically put my foot back in the office. Some people think it might have been an impediment, but for me, it was an ability and I, I Maybe it had something to do with my living for as long as I have. So yeah, and surviving something so horrific. Uh, talking about the younger generation not knowing about the Holocaust, Wisconsin is now one of 22 states to require some type of Holocaust education. And in 2021, Governor Evers signed Act 30, the Holocaust Education Bill, into law, making it mandatory that students be taught about the Holocaust at least twice between 5th and 12th grade. Dustin? All right, thanks, Heather. And Peter's message certainly resonating with all of us. And you can attend this free event at the Viterbo Fine Arts Center tomorrow night, starting at 7 o'clock.